Hi, I'm Adriana, Canadian Rockies hiking mom, and I love to get outside with my baby and hike, and I want to show you that it is possible to get outside too. I start by getting all baby's items laid out, ready to go. I'm Adriana, a Canadian Rockies hiking mom. Here to help add adventures to your motherhood journey. Um, he's still in his car seat now, and then I do wear merino wool base layers for myself and my toque here, and I also put on ice cleats already. I did this just because it's easier without having babe out, then I'm all ready to go. So with my base layers, I have the nursing top here that and my nursing friendly sports bra underneath as well. So easy access on the trail and I'm gonna get layered up into my next layers now. So merino wool and then I put on my hiking pant. So these are waterproof. Okay, super important to layer up when you're heading out on the trail with babe, but also super important to be able to layer down because it does get pretty warm when you're carrying baby on the trail. And then I'm going to put on my fleece because my fleece is a lot warmer. We're just gonna get layered up. Best part. Now we have baby out of the car seat. See there? Okay, so he is in his merino wool base layers here and he's super warm. He has his central booties. Making sure that you're doing a diaper change always before heading out on the trail is super important. Okay, these cute little smart wool socks are great for baby. This is over the ears just in case the wind comes up. So he's in his mid layer bunting here and he just has one more layer to go. So we're going to do the downfilled layer next. So the next layer is his downfilled bunting here. And this is his outer shell that I'm going to be putting on babe to keep him nice and cozy in here. And putting them in their layers because they don't really like to get restricted, but totally necessary when going on a winter hike. <laughs> it is! It's so necessary! <laughs> okay, so we have our final layer on here and he's ready to get into the hiking carrier. This has been nursed and he's dry and he's ready to hit the trail. So we're gonna get him loaded. Winter hiking is just really about finding your own comfort zone. And layering up and always putting safety first. See on the nap. <laughs> My two year old's vlogging. <laughs> okay, so we're just out in Canmore in the Canadian Rockies and we're just doing a little hike out here. And it is actually such a beautiful winter day, but not overdoing it for time. Short and sweet adventures, making sure that you're always temperature checking baby because it can get so cold. Oh, this is so beautiful. <laughs> it feels so spoiled to live in the Canadian Rockies, honestly. And I'm so happy I get to share this with you. Leave these in your car. You never want to forget them. Sleep on. So when I get out in the winter, is this winter here like eight months of here in Calgary, it feels like. And honestly, if I didn't get outside, I would be stuck inside in the house and I just, it's possible to be out enjoying the beautiful weather. Um, even though it's cold, you can still be prepared. Nature is just so healing, especially after having a baby and this really helps with mental health, anxiety, fresh air, exercise. It's really great for baby too. It can be a lot of work, layering, unlayering, loading, unloading, but it's worth Winter it. Winter hiking can be so refreshing, but it's very important to stay safe on the trail with staying warm and doing temperature checks all the time. So in order to check baby's temperature, I typically just kind of unzip here and I will feel the back of his neck with my two fingers and just making sure that he's not feeling too hot to touch. I also like to unfold and ensure that his little hands in here that I can feel, yeah, he's feeling nice and warm, perfect. And then I also like to check his feet as well. So I like to make sure that we're good to go here with, with warmth. So I have those fleece booties on him under here as well. And I can feel that he's nice and warm. So I'm doing these temperature checks very frequently when I'm on the trail. I'm very paranoid about him getting too cold. So I just make sure that he is feeling good. My rule of thumb, I actually don't take my baby out if it's colder than minus 15 degrees Celsius, just not my comfort level. Also the layering and everything comes into effect as well. Um, one of the key things is to keep baby's ears covered, okay? So the wind and winter, it, they really don't like it. Just make sure that that wind is not getting in. That's certainly ideal. Talk a little bit about the gear that I bring with me on my winter hikes, just my comfort level and what makes me feel um, good on the trail. And I personally love hiking in the winter. I do it safely though. I make sure I'm not outside in extreme cold weather and I definitely layer my baby appropriately for the weather that we're in. It is nice and comfortable on the trail because that's what it's all about. We're gonna quickly talk about gear. So I bring my uh, satellite phone. So this is the Garmin InReach Mini and you can hit that SOS feature if I you're needing some help. 
I bring my Thermarest Z seat here, so I use this to sit on and nurse babe, or I also use it for diaper changes if I have to diaper change on the trail. I typically try not to in the winter time. I really just like changing baby's diaper before in the car and afterwards just I don't like exposing baby to all the winter elements and if you absolutely have to um, change baby just make sure that you're doing it super fast you're zipping from the bottom up um, if you have a zippered outfit on or the pants even and you're not taking them all the way down and you just have everything ready wipes ready and and just really quick and if you can be out of the wind and kind of get into a sheltered area that's always perfect too things that I like to bring on the trail is mama gloves never want to forget these but sometimes I do I always bring my family friendly first aid kit I do have baby Tylenol and Benadryl and different things like that in here as well just to keep baby safe on the trail or mama snacks in here after hand warmers and i do bring some extra fleece gloves as well for baby too what are you doing i'm doing a video are you gonna help i need a snack we have some wool base layers that are extra for baby in case he gets his base layer wet that we can okay we're gonna take a big bite Okay, I always bring my diapers and wipes. Try to store them in the middle of your pack if you can so that you're not getting them frozen when you're out on your adventure. Bring the 10 essentials with us. So we have an emergency blanket in here and everything we'll kind of need to start a fire. We have our compass in here if our navigation stops working as well. 10 essentials, super, super important on the trail. Do not forget these. Okay, so I always actually choose avalanche free zones in the winter. It is my comfort level again. I typically, I used to do backcountry winter stuff when I was just hiking solo. But when I'm with baby, I honestly decided I'm just not comfortable with any kind of avalanche and any kind of risk. Wearing my bear spray because bears don't always hibernate all winter long. We learned about that in our bear safety course. On our winter hikes, typically we're going about an hour, um, really around that hour threshold for us. Um, much longer than that and babe just starts to kind of get fussy and what have you. Hey, so how cold is too cold with baby? So I believe it's around like minus 18 degrees <laughs> Celsius is what I've kind of been told where their eyes and things freeze. So attention to wind chill as well because I've done that where I got outside and I'm like okay this is way colder than what it said uh Okay, so really the most important things on the trail are definitely your 10 essentials and just being totally prepared with all your baby essentials for baby. I do hike close to the car as well in the winter just so I'm nice and close and I'm not worried about being too far out um, where I can't get baby warm right away with the heater from the car. Okay, so baby essentials are super important on the trail as we discussed. Ah! I mentioned before, I am wearing my nursing friendly top. So I see babe, he has had a lot to eat already so he's not totally hungry now. On is actually perfect for trail nursing and super handy merino wool um, nursing friendly top is actually so important in the winter because you don't want to have to roll up your top and it's like ice cold and it's just like blowing at you these like, memories are my absolute favorite they hold so much magic surrounded by mountains soaking in nature bug. i absolutely love it um you just really want to watch out for is when they're wearing their like puffy outfit like nash is today you just want to make sure that they're able to they're not too restricted make sure that their airways are open just remember to find your own comfort level and you don't have to go out in all sorts of winter days if you enjoyed hiking along today to learn a little bit more about hiking in the winter with your baby